Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another video and today we're just going to go over what's happening in WoW this week. Go over some Reddit posts and probably go on a rant or two, so let's get to it. Uh, this week in WoW we have basically this week our weekly will be geared towards PvP, so we have the bonus ground battleground bonus event begins and then PvP brawl. Uh, the weekly of that is Gravity Laps. Now, this is a good week if you want to get some PvP tokens or currency so you can buy whatever you want from the vendor. This is a good week to do that. Now, on Friday, we have Uno Goro Madness. Uh, this micro holiday is kind of worthless, to be completely honest. This was enabled when the Uno Goro Hearthstone expansion came out, but you go there, kill a bunch of mobs, but it doesn't reward anything. Like, you don't get any achievements or transmog pieces for that. So, you just do that if you just want to do it to have fun. It's kind of irrelevant, especially in this day and age, you know, where people want a reward for their time. So, but on Monday, we have the Trial of Style. That's another micro holiday event. And this is pretty good because you can get a token and then buy transmog gear if you win it now you go in there um you need six players to enter you go in there and you have two minutes to make a set on whatever whatever the the scenario is and then and then you go on stage basically strike a pose and then the other four people vote on who they think is best right now, usually every time I did this, I'm always in a, in a group where everyone's friends, so I always lose. Hopefully you don't run into that. But this is a really cool thing. Um, maybe you can win it and try it. So that runs until next Friday. So something to look into if you're interested in getting some transmog and doing something different in the game. Now this week uh, we have our world boss will be, we had Baskrikron last week. So we have Strun Ram this week. This is good to run these world bosses, especially in alts. They drop 389 gear or it's really good to kill, especially if you need transmog pieces that you're missing for your collection. Now Strun Ram will be located in the Anaran Plains. Uh, right around where the Great Swag is located, right around this area right here. So, our weekly for Mythic Plus, the affixes will be Tyrannical. We have Raging, Storming, and Thundering. Now, this week, I don't think it's too bad. Maybe other people will think differently, but it's a good week to run some keys if you want. And try to maybe get your Keystone Hero or Keystone um, achievements in there. So, those are the affixes. Now, speaking of, um, of Mythic Plus, <laughs> we do have uh, some nerfs here. We have here in Mythic Plus... Azure Vault will be nerfed tomorrow on reset. Um, the time will be up fr to, from 34 to 35 and 30 seconds. So that gives you a minute and a half extra. Uh, cooldown of the Vault Brilliant Scales has been increased. And Azure Blade, her mana drain is up to 60 seconds from 50. So that's something to look into. Also, there is a... Uh, nerf to Razorgath in um, rating. So Razorgath, all her, all of her um, damage basically is reduced by twenty percent. So this is really good, especially in heroic here where. Pugging, uh, this will really help it to get a couple of pugs through. Now in Mythic, I don't raid Mythic, but maybe someone can let me know if this is a big change. Uh, Primal Seeker Storm Bolt damage is reduced by 25% in Mythic. And Fulmigating Charge now snares players instead of rooting them. And all the other damage is reduced by 
20%. So let me know if the, these are a big thing. I know uh, pugging heroic, this is uh, pretty important here. I think this will make a big difference on the heroic end. So um, let's go over some Reddit post here. We got, this is uh, posted by Totley. Totley, and it says getting higher tier should give you mog for trans for tiers below. Now, basically, his bonus question is: I can no longer I, he no longer needs most tier pieces, and I don't want color from LFR one, uh, but I want the color from the LFR one. How can I how can I get that now? Well, Totley, the only way you can get that now is running LFR, and that's called grinding, right? Um, I, as much as I run transmog, and sure, this will be very con convenient to if you run heroic. Now, when you run all these transmog pieces, you usually you get the same gear, but the collection is different because the they change the color up. So the color from normal will be different than mythic, and then mythic will be different than LFR. So people have to run different versions of it to get the transmog piece that they want. Of course, you know, WoW has done a lot of things to make things a lot easier on people. But I think sometimes you just got to challenge yourself. And it, it, as much as it sucks, and as much as, you know, it'd be easier for me being a collector, uh, I think you still got to work for it. So to answer your question, Totley, the only way to get the pieces you need is to run the difficulty that you need them on. And I don't, I personally don't agree that you should just get them that's just me let me know what you think uh, another reddit post here we got here is uh this was posted by big burger boy 92 why are these not used more when listing keys what stops you from using this when you try to find a group now what he's pertaining here is when you make your group you can put the minimum minimum mythic rating and minimum item level rating now why this ain't used is because it's relevant because one people don't read and people are just going to sign up regardless whether you have that marked or not it's not like you can mark them and then it, it it basically puts a stop at anyone trying to sign up with those requirements that's not how it works so either way um regardless if you use this or not um people are still going to sign up even if they don't meet the requirements I personally, I, I really don't care because there's a lot of people that are less geared towards what you should be running, but they make it up because they can play their class really well or they know the mechanics. And I think that's more important than gear score. So that's probably why they don't use it, Big Burger Boy, is because it's irrelevant Another post here on Reddit is by Xfebby. Please make trade chat cross faction in 10.1. He's basically saying uh, finally getting cross faction guilds is amazing. Now, basically, what he's saying is they should make trade chat cross faction too, and I I I 100% I agree with that, especially the way the game is going. Like you can sign up. Eventually, we're gonna have it where we can you know, do everything with uh, cross-faction. So I don't see why this can't be implemented, especially if people in trade chat want to um, get something crafted done by a horde person if they're an alliance, if, if a horde person is is uh, qualified to do that. So I, I, I really think this is a good idea. I think uh, Blizzard should make trade chat cross-faction. So I, I totally agree with you, Xfebby. I think this will be good for the game, especially the way it is going. So I think that's all we got to talk about today. So have fun this weekend, WoW, and make sure you play the game in moderation, okay? So take care, and God bless.